How's it going everyone? John here and welcome to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over color correction. Now you can also apply these same settings that I'm going to be showing you over on OBS Studio. So if you guys are using either one, you can still utilize this video. So before we get into it, quick thing I want to say that I'm only going to be doing this for a video game, but you can also apply it to your webcam. Now if you are going to be doing it with a webcam, just make sure you have some pretty decent lighting because the settings can only go so far to try to make your webcam look good. And you don't really need expensive lights for your webcam to actually be able to look pretty decent. I use two $10 desktop lamps from Walmart and I think I have like a 5600 or 5400 or whatever uh, Kelvin light bulbs in one of them or I'm sorry, in both of them. And it just bounces off my wall. So the wall somewhat diffuses it a little bit. But work with what you got. You don't need expensive equipment. And the webcam I'm using is a C920. I've had it for a while. So you, you don't really need to have really, really expensive equipment to get really good lighting for your webcam. Now, to the video. So what we're going to do is have you log in to either OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Go to the scene and then go to the source that you're wanting to work with. Now you're gonna right click on that source, you're gonna go up to filters, and you're gonna click on the plus. Click the drop down, go to color correction, and click done. So this is what you're gonna be able to see and what you can try to manipulate. You have your preview window up on top, and what you're gonna to do is just kinda of mess with these. So if I mess with a little bit of gamma, you can start to see that it's starting to brighten up everything around it, right? But a little too bright. It looks a little washed out. So if you bring in some contrast, now you're starting to bring in some shadows, starting to pop a little bit, starting to level out the gamma. If you want to you know, make it a little bit darker, you can bring the brightness down just a little bit, but we still have some really good colors popping. Saturation, be very careful with. If you add too much saturation, it starts to get really uh, cartoony and warm, and it just doesn't really look all that great. Now. Of course, Overwatch is a very colorful game. I can't say that word, colorful. There we go. It's a very colorful game. So you only want to add just a little bit, but that's the reason why I wanted to use Overwatch as the example. But you can do this to any game. Just kind of like play along with the slider here to kind of figure out like where it sits pretty decent in terms of that. Now the hue shift. Hue shift, you just add a little bit to it because if you add too much, it starts to turn different colors. I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. That looks pretty sick. But when you start doing that, it just doesn't look very good. Um, so just adding just a little bit of hue shift is good. But if you still feel like things are just a little too crazy and, you know, it's just too much, you can bring the opacity down. And once if you bring it down, you can kind of see that you need to make some other adjustments as you go. So you just kind of mess with these sliders a little bit and just kind of see like what fits, right? So I'm going to leave it at 100 just because I like to have it there. Uh, but don't worry about this color thing because if you if you mess with this, it's going to apply whatever color you put on here, including the white. So don't touch this guy down here. Uh, now, this is very simple stuff to do. It's very easy to do. So if you guys are just wanting to make subtle changes to like your game to make it look a little better for your viewers or if you're wanting to kind of make your webcam look a little bit more cleaner, less fuzzy and stuff like that. Again, better lighting definitely helps, but also adding this to it can help too. You know, it can it can help with that that grayish look that a lot of webcams have. But once you're done, just go ahead and click done and that's the final result. Now, it doesn't impact how your actual game looks. So, if you're fine with how your game looks and everything, then you know you don't have to go into your monitor settings or anything like that and adjust brightnesses and everything you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to do it through the software of obs and you want to go ahead and mess with your monitors settings and stuff like that to make your games always look this way then you can but if you just want to do it through software just do it through obs but if you guys have any questions about the color correction, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content. I have a lot of videos that go over the technical side of streaming. 
And if you have any questions about those videos, please feel free to reach out to me. I have a Discord. You can reach out to me on Twitter, in the comment section of the video, or you guys can go and hang out with me over on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where I go and talk shop and just play games and just have a good time. But if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.